Okay guys, a uh, few things have been going on since the last video. I um, accidentally dropped a few things and a few wires disconnected and didn't know what was going on and turned out the battery that was uh, charging this would was uh, the battery charger had uh, short circuited and the trip the little circuit and the battery here was getting a bit low and I wondered why the voltage wasn't going up when I come back it was 18 volts, 18 and a half volts and I couldn't get it up to come up again and anyway it's climbing up again in the meantime I connected it to this 48 volt these are 1.2 amp hour batteries in series for 48 volts I connected it up to that just to give it a bit of a boost hopefully uh, instead of watching it climb I'll give it a bit of a boom and um, this was drawing about 10 watts and the uh, frequency was howling it was quite noisy but it was only showing about 4000 hertz on here but interestingly enough when I disconnected it it um, it wasn't a high voltage it actually had come down to 16 volts or so so um, don't actually know what happened there um, I know that uh, the reading was um, showing on here about uh, 28 volts or 26 volts or something but when I disconnected it and reconnected it up the way I normally have it connected it was showing um, only 16 volts so it's climbing again now that's the waveform I was talking about just uh, oh, sorry just got my iPhone on the charger here so I can't extend the lead um, okay so we're up at 5,000 or nearly 6,000 volts but see that waveform how it's really high now I've forgotten exactly what was on the last video but um, I know it was only a short waveform I'm not sure if it was 18 volts showing up here or not but uh, when I initially came in it was uh, showing about 18 and a half volts before I dropped um, a couple of things and it pulled down everything uh, so uh, the waveform's back up again, but it's not square, as you can see. But that 9-volt battery is showing um, 70.23 volts. Now, interestingly enough, these batteries that I charged last night, I did a little test on the um, laser uh, distance <coughs> meter. Today I turned it on, or tonight I turned it on, and it just went beep, beep. Didn't even have enough power in it to actually had enough power to show beep beep didn't even have enough power to show um, the little uh, battery low signal so I grab my little meters here and I will again and um, I'll just whack them on these batteries and interestingly one of them shows a point, oh sorry, one point, oh geez, this is rather annoying. I've had uh, half a bottle of wine <laughs> with my missus over dinner and I drink one quite quick. So, one's at point six three one. so uh, that's interesting, but the next one... is 2.1 uh, a quarter of a volt let's say so that's no go now these were in series when I charged them I didn't charge them individually again about a fifth of a volt certainly not uh, an exciting thing and this one here 1.672 so uh, what I'm going to do that's not to say the uh, radiant charger is not doing what I thought it should do because initially it, it did work that might be uh, defective cells so what I'm going to do is charge these individually with this radiant charger um, tonight after I've finished charging this battery here I will 
go on to just poke that in here. Um, separate those so we can get a reading. Oh, I just shorted that out by accident. Um, these two parts here just touched. Uh, as I was saying, the, the, the voltage here has nothing to do with the, the, the wavelength. See, they're quite high again. So, um, and the frequency is quite high, yet the voltage, um, when it touched, obviously shorted that battery out a bit. Only, only briefly for about two or three seconds did that happen. So uh, I'm going to leave that until it gets to 18 and a half volts. Um, I'll do a quick video on the frequency, which you probably won't change too much um, based on the previous video or this video. And um, 16.83 volts. And uh, then I'll switch it over to here for the night. I've got um, a few other um, videos coming up. I've actually got some brand new AA. These are AAA, but uh, brand new AA batteries, lithium du uh, Duracell. So we're going to whack that on the Radiant Charger and just have a look at the waveform and the voltage that shows up on a brand new unused um, battery. And then we're going to do a few experiments um, with uh, the 48 volt chart um, connected to the uh, Radiant Charger and uh, say a 9 volt battery and the effect on it, whether um, how great the effect, whether it just means it charges up faster or whether it charges up different characteristics, anything we can uh, see that might stand out different or is of interest uh, through observation. Thanks for watching guys, hope you're enjoying these videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I love comments, bye.